they wanted to know what she thought of it. Oh, she liked it. I liked the, what was the one I liked? The, one the left one. You liked the left one. The left one? Yeah. It was good. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever I drank. Wow. Just. Welcome back to our Stupid Rags, it's up Corbin. I'm Rick. I'm Nana Barbara. Rick's mom. Yeah. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more Rick's YouTube content. Thanks to Patreon for the content. It's good. Rick! Sorry, I rang it. You can ring the next one. <laughs> you can ring the next one. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. <laughs> Today we're doing some stand-up. It says, uh, Indian Parents. OCD and electricity at home. Send comedy oh, by Kenny wow. Sebastian. Oh, good! Wow, been a while. Yeah, uh, I think we've seen a set from this set. Okay. So we've seen a portion of this set. Um, Remember when I told you about an hour later it would start getting warm? Is this a clip? It's a it's a clip from his stand up routine. Yeah. Okay. He's so, a very good comedian. Very funny comedian. Um, and you will see because um, my suspicion is it'll be in Hindi. What an amazing... No, he usually does English. What a, yeah, well, if, if, if just with... This is one of the times where we usually gush the most about our subbers who do the subtitles because the amount of words that are coming out of these comedians' mouths and the speed at which they're usually coming out, mm. and they not only do the subtitles, they give reference points culturally to help you understand. But I think so, he, he, he maybe... He, I yeah, think he, he does. Kenny Sebastian English. does a lot of stuff, like Veer Das. He does a lot in English. Where's Here we he go. from? Uh, India. India. He's India. <laughs> with that name? Yeah, yeah of course. Holy Toledo. No, he's from Norway. There's, <laughs> there's actually quite a few Indian people with names that do not give away the fact that they're Indian. So, like, stage name? No, it's their uh, real name. Great, so Kenny makes a noise for the very funny, the very famous, the very talented Mr. Kenny Sebastian. The very famous Kenny Sebastian. Okay, you guys are a fantastic audience. Big round of applause for you guys. Such a lovely Down audience. There. Everyone yeah. spoke about being middle class. And everyone agreed. So let's call this a middle class show. Yeah? <laughs> should have been free. It should have been free. <laughs> yeah, I just have this feeling. They all agree. Like, yeah. Should have been free. It's awesome. And everyone spoke about their dad, which also I'm going to do. Uh, my dad's over here. So give him a round of applause. Yeah? Rick's mom is here! Yay! <laughs> my dad's like, fuck us, I'm laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm really uncomfortable right now because I'm wearing a jacket and it's not a middle class thing to wear as a jacket uh, because you have to dry clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's a big thing. And yeah, it's true. Yeah. When you buy something like a dry clean, it's like a president of a <laughs> True. You're gonna touch that very seldom. Right? Like I see people, like I see rich people who wear suits like normally, like they're going on a flight, and I'll see them sitting in the suit and he's eating. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right in every day. Yeah? <laughs> Just like, in my house, right cleaning is a yearly event. My dad was also damn yearly, okay? So he won't tell us that he's going for dry cleaning. Because oh, uh, suddenly we said, my dad would be like, okay, uh, I'm going for dry cleaning, and then what they take the jacket? <laughs> take this part of it. He hasn't taken a bath since, oh God. Now, bill will be more than 4,000. <laughs> awesome. Uh, my mom is uh, super cute. Uh, she's, she's, she's OCD about cleaning. Oh, cheer for that. <laughs> But did you know there is an OCD university where the first rule is that you only clean the TV when someone's watching? <laughs> That's true. Oh, that's bad. She can sense that importance is being given to the TV. Yeah. Otherwise, like, the whole day, no one's watching TV. My mom won't give a shit about the TV. <laughs> the TV is like, hey girl, <laughs> I'm dirty. <laughs> Come 
Give me go. <laughs> Awesome. She's uh, there's an unwritten rule in the house that every everything in the house is in its place because it's decided by my mom. <laughs> it's in its place because my mom decided it to be like that. It's not coincidence, okay? If you move the table, my mom like what the fuck? <laughs> If I put something somewhere which does not belong there, it will disappear. <laughs> my mom is as fast as an F1 pit crew. <laughs> I'll come home, I'll take out my keys, I'll put my wallet. Hey, I'm like, Mom, I need that wallet. She would be the perfect criminal. <laughs> she would leave no clues. <laughs> the dead body is here, there are no clues, no blood stains. The murder weapon is gone, his shirt has been ironed. <laughs> Stuff, she's cool with it. Uh, she's really scared of two things. Uh, something if, if something happens to me or if the gas cylinder explodes. <laughs> I don't know who put this fear in Indian mothers of this gas cylinder dude. <laughs> and also you should dedicate one article for 20 people dying. <laughs> because their son said, yeah, I switched off the gas but he didn't. <laughs> my mom said, hey, I have switched off the gas more than I love you. <laughs> and the thing is my mom, uh, there's a there's a golden timing rule that every mother has, which is three seconds. If she will ask you to do something, <laughs> you have to do it in three seconds. <laughs> Pretty if much. If you cross that threshold, she will do something unimaginable. <laughs> she will do it herself. <laughs> and like, then the guilt is there, yeah. One thing she asked me to do, oh. and I couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. It's insane. That's the best part. So right? Awesome, no mothers are here, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, my dad on the other hand is damn cool. <laughs> exactly. Except about one thing. Uh -oh. The only thing that bothers my dad is who the hell left the <laughs> That's something my dad cannot, and my dad's not my mom. My mom's very immediate <coughs> feedback. You know, I'm like, what are you doing? I just like, immediate. My dad's been like, he's very passive aggressive. He just come up to me like, oh, hey, can you hear me? How are you? <coughs> oh, you're on your laptop. Very nice. nice. <laughs> what are you doing? Facebook? <laughs> very productive. <laughs> I notice you're sitting under the light, the, the tube light, yeah? Basking on the photons, huh? <laughs> photons I paid for. Exactly. There it goes. There exactly. it comes. Fun fact, Kenny. I don't know. If you're sitting here and your bedroom is on top, <laughs> who the hell is the light? <laughs> That was a big thing with me with, with, with the kids. Right, right. the lights on all the time. I, I did it. Go switch it off right now. <laughs> and you stand there, and as you move, his head follows your body. <laughs> and as I go to the first floor, through the floor, he's looking at me. <laughs> it is insane, but he's cool. <laughs> oh. oh, he's a funny guy. He's very funny. He does great stuff. Gets with another great comedian as well, um, but yeah, everything we've seen Kenny do, he's 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 absolutely hilarious. Always funny. You, you were like that with the with yeah. The lights. the lights was a big big deal. They would come out, and uh, I would typically sometimes if we were in a rush, it would be a quick thing. But for the most part, I would do that kind of that kind of game, where they would come out, they'd sit down at the table to eat, and all the lights in the back are on. And I I'd, I'd look back there and I go, pennies are falling. <laughs> It, all, it always has are just falling out of the sky right It now. always has to be some analogy, yeah. not not actual. About the burning of money. <laughs> Go, don't turn the lights off. Oh, when I was really upset, I'd do this. i do this about virtually everything. The lights would be on, they'd be sitting there and say, you know what I'm going to do? When you have homes of your own, and they get up from the table, they know what I'm going to say, and I'd say it as they're walking to turn the lights off. 
I'm going to come over mm -hmm. and I'm going to turn the lights on in all of the rooms. Perfect. And just let it burn. Let it burn. See how you feel. Will you like that? I hand you the electric bill. <laughs> yeah, you didn't because I was a good boy. Lies. But we also we didn't have big places. We lived in little apartments, so there wasn't a lot of lights to leave on. I would leave the kitchen light on. You know what I did once? Do you I remember bet, this? I bet if we ask your dad, you left the lights on. Do you remember this? Were you there? It was on Delano Street. We were probably, we were in the living room watching TV. Lights are off in the dining room and the kitchen on Delano. And there's a flicker coming out of the kitchen. Flickering? Yeah. And the flicker was flames coming out of the coffee pot that oh, hadn't been Lord. turned off because the coffee evaporated. Yeah, that's true. You remember that? The and the, the, the coffee maker was on fire. Yikes. Yikes, stripes. Yeah. No. Don't leave the lights on, kids. <laughs> Let us Don't turn off the coffee maker. Down. No. Let us know what other of Kenny's and other stand-up comedians we should react to down. Where? Wherever. Below. Below. Below.